you guys welcome back to my channel according to Rhea and of course I'm Rhea thank you guys for tuning in so as you can tell from the title there's gonna be a lot going on so my first week was it was decent but like as most first weeks go not much happened um, so I did have class Monday Tuesday and Wednesday Monday and Wednesday were my lecture and then Tuesday was my lab um, so as far as the first day went, it was just going over the syllabus. Some of it was like some last minute paperwork, just very basic. Um, the book that we used for lab was our Taylor's Clinical Nursing Skills book. So what we ended up reading, like the chapters we read was like the first chapter, which just consisted of specifying exactly how to wear PPE, how to put it on and take it off, and the different types of isolation. Um, and the PPE that you have to wear, like contact isolation, droplet isolation, stuff like that. Um, so that's what our lab consisted of. And I did not know that you, you wash your hands a certain way. So I always did soap and then water and then just scrubbed. You're actually supposed to do water, soap, back to the water, and then scrub. So tips to live by. Um, as far as my lecture though, we didn't start lecture until today, which is Wednesday. Um, we went over the nursing process as well as like infection control and um, the different like signs of infection, you know, inflammation, redness, pus, just different things to kind of look for. And then as far as the nursing process goes, we talked about Nanda. Um, and we also talked about just planning and setting a goal for your patient. Um, the types of care that you implement, um, evaluation of the patient, so like if you reach the goal or not, and then your next step. So now if you reach the goal, what's the next plan of action? Now we have to, um, you know, make our type target a little bit higher. And then if you didn't reach the goal, how can we make this plan easier for you to achieve? And then like if you have ongoing care, so if you're still trying to reach that goal. So that's kind of what we talked about um, so far. Uh, once again, I can't stop saying um. So that is it for class. Hopefully that wasn't completely over the place as much as it seemed like it was to me, but yeah. I will do better next time. <laughs> I won't make these videos so late. All right, so now on to my haul. So I went to Walmart. I initially went to Walmart just to buy a journal. And then of course I got there and I saw like a whole bunch of different stuff. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing the most important thing like the reason I went to Walmart in the first place was to get this journal and this is a um, dot ruled three subject notebook super cute it says notes this is the little label um, and it has I guess the three subject is like the blue the purple and the pink and so it just has like a bunch of dots and I'm gonna use it as a bullet journal and kind of set um, like goals, like my daily goals, what I wanna get done and stuff like that. So I thought that was really cute. Um, and of course, I had to get some pins to go along with it even though I just bought pins. If you watched my last video, um, you know that I got these paper mate pins and I got these um, rollerball pins. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I will be putting the video um, somewhere in the cards up here check it out so today i went to walmart of course and i saw um these are the zebra mod liners and i know you guys have heard of them um they are like marker pins type and they're like double sided so one side is like a it's called a dot and the other side is angled i can't think of the exact oh chisel and a bullet tip um, so it looks like this and I was going to get the pack of 15 that had all the markers but then I saw this and I was like okay so it comes with uh, seven markers and seven pins like gel pins and I was like you know that might be more beneficial because I just did not see myself using the brown marker so I thought these were super cute um, these were like $16 I believe um so it does come with one black pin but I, I love black pins so I went ahead and bought um these uniball gel black pins and 0.5 millimeters just in case I ran out of ink from the black one because that will be the one that I'm using the most um and then I also got so these are two makeup bags I thought they were super cute though so I'm gonna be using this one as a pencil bag for school it's clear um, it has like a, a lining in here so it, it looks like it's really bingy but it's it's really not it's just this like plastic paper and then I got this pink one which is what I'm gonna use um, for all my new pins and stuff that I bought I'm gonna put them in here and leave it at home 
Okay, so also, um, since we can't wear fake nails, these are obviously not like acrylics. I have recently been into press-ons. So these right here are the Kiss Salon Color Vivid Two Coat Press-ons and the length um, long. And I don't know, it doesn't have like, I don't know if it has a style or not. It just, they were nude, so they look like this. So they're like a pinky nude. And I am gonna show you guys a video on like an easy way to apply your press-ons like without using glue. And I'll give you guys the whole rundown. But yeah, so they came out pretty good. Um, and the other ones that I got were, these are the Gel Fantasy. So these are nude and they're also the, the long set. Um, and they're kind of giving me like coffin vibes, but they are super cute. So I'll be showing you guys how I put these on. And I have to take care of my natural nails as well. So that's why I don't use glue. Um, but when I'm not wearing these, because I only wear these for my videos, I need to take care of my nails. Um, so my nails, they grow, but, um, it takes nothing for them to chip and like, just be hella short. So I went ahead and bought this Sally Hansen, um, Maximum Growth. It says it's multi-benefit growth treatment helps to grow and strengthen nails. And it just looks like a regular polish, um, bottle. Now, I don't know if this leaves like a sheen or like a gloss on the nails. So I did also buy the... Sally Hansen Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Color in Clear just because I really didn't want a color and I'm just going to put that on my natural nails. So that is my combo. And then I bought some orange sticks as well. I already have a lot of um, nail supplies because I used to do my own nails. Yeah. So I will be, like I said, I'll be giving you guys the full rundown on how I do my press-ons. Boom. And then also, um, I forgot that I bought this stuff from Walmart like a few days ago, but it's still school related. So... So I went ahead and bought two college composition books. I haven't had these type of journals in forever, but I really like these because they have the little stringy thing. I don't know what it's called. What do they call it? A bungee closure. They had a bungee closure and the color was nice. They had another one, but it was, it was giving too much. These have like the subject, the date, and then like the college road and then like a box right here. It's giving me very much Cornell, but they are nice to have. And they're they're pretty good quality. So I got two of these. And you guys know from my last video, I bought a bunch of flashcards. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm saying that again. Um, so I wanted to keep them pretty organized. So I went and bought this um, box. This is a pin and gear box. It was, it was right by the flashcards. So like it has to be for them. So you just like flip the sides and then you open it like this. And I'm gonna be just use. I'm probably gonna buy another one because I can just see myself making hella flashcards this semester, but we'll see. Um, and to contain all of them, I'm going to be punching holes in my flashcards. And so I went ahead and bought these book rings, which I'm going to use to loop through the flashcards and keep them organized in here. Last semester, what I did was I would put all my flashcards in like the little sandwich bags. So like when we would do the different um, systems of the body, I would have one bag for reproduction, one bag for urinary, one bag for integumentary. I like to study all my cards together and so I would always get them mixed up and it just, it wasn't working for me. So with, at least with the rings, if I do want to study everything at once, they will already be organized and I don't have to worry about getting, you know, the kidney in the integumentary bag, you know what I mean? So everything will kind of be close together. So one thing you want to do is make sure that um, specifically for healthcare, because that's kind of what I'm savvy to, um, you want to keep your stuff in order, especially because you typically learn things in order as they're going to be on the test. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some tips on how to stay organized. I love a good planner. And I mean, I feel like planners are so awesome because they're customizable in the sense that you can go out and find one that you love. You can, there's so many different brands, there's so many different sizes, types, weeks, monthly, there's so many things to choose from. So it's very easy, in my opinion, to get motivated because they're cute to look at, they're fun, and it's just a really good feeling when you go to class and you have all your stuff together. Or when you've turned in your assignments, you know exactly what's going on and you're not lost because I know from personal experience, going to class and looking around, everyone's kind of prepared and you forgot something, that is a horrible feeling. So what I do in my planner is I color code. I color code by the subject. So for example, let's say, you know, I'll do pink for AMP1. 
um, lecture and I'll do purple for lab or like orange for human development, whatever. Um, so when I write things in my schedule, I know what the color stands for. I can easily say, okay, Wednesday is orange, so that's human development. Tuesday is pink, so that's anatomy lecture, stuff like that. Um, and then the big thing is once you start school and you get your syllabus, please, 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 please print it out, do something, but keep that as your priority because that syllabus is going to save your life. And then on top of that, if they give you a pacing schedule, even better. I would immediately go in, highlight dates, highlight office hours, highlight specific things such as what happens if I miss a, a day of class? How many tardies can I get? How many days can I be late before I'm dropped? You want to know those things because I'm telling you if something happens and you say, oh, well, I didn't know, it's in the syllabus. Anything you need to know is in the syllabus. And if you go through that syllabus and you still have questions, ask your teacher. Whenever I got syllabus, I immediately would sit down, go through it, read my calendar, immediately take out, you know, the date for the final, the date for retakes, the day for test. I would immediately put that in my planner because you need to know that. Like, If you want to pass your class with flying colors, you need to know when and where, period. But if you don't want to use a planner, Get you a notepad get you a legal pad something to write down things and if you're not a physical person like like you don't want to physically write it down use your laptop you know use your ipad use your phone put things in your calendar set reminders just do yourself a favor and stay on top of things for me i my grade is indicative of how much work i put in and i i like high grades and i know that in order to do that i need to turn stuff in because even if you know the material it doesn't matter if you don't turn your stuff in if you don't make the grades you're not gonna pass the class you need to know when things are due and you need to make sure that you're getting them turned in so that you can get what you need out of that class it is your duty as a student as a paying student to know what's going on in your class I think I went on a rant but I'm, I'm very passionate about that so when I use my laptop what I have found useful is to make folders I make a folder for every class that I take and within those folders I make subfolders. Within those folders I had my syllabus, I had a folder for assignments, I had a folder for any projects we did just in case, God forbid, they lose my assignment, you know, and I have to reprint it or something like that. You just want to make sure that you do everything you can to get every point that you can. Okay, so I think I, I don't know if I said this was gonna be organizational tips, but now it's turning into how to be the best student that you can be. And I feel like all of this ties in. Organization, you know, make sure that you turn everything in, you stay on top of things, and in turn, that stuff helps you get the best grade that you can. But as you guys can see in the background, right here is my calendar. I do have a calendar set up. This is a whiteboard calendar. I have my marker, I have all my dates. So once September starts, I will go ahead and fill this out. Right now, all of the important dates that need to go on here are in my planner. So right here is, um, what do you call this? Like a bulletin board. And I just have some like reminders on here that I need to read certain pages out of a textbook. Behind me is my whiteboard. So on my whiteboard right now, I have all of my major assignments and their dates for the entire semester. As you can see, it goes from September to December. Those things are very, very important. Those are the heaviest weighted grades in my grade book. So I am going to make sure that I know when those are and what they're going to cover, period. Don't let it get away from you. I, I promise you, do not let it get away from you. It, it just, it's, it's very stressful to wait until the last minute. So stay on top of it. And the only way to do that is to find a way to constantly know what's happening, when it's happening, what time, what it's covering, stay on top of it. Keep your notes organized, highlight, underline, do whatever you need to do to make sure that you are the best student that you can be. All right, so my TED Talk is over. I'm going to be trying to um, post a video once a week, like I said in my last video, most likely every Thursday or Friday, I'll, I'll figure it out. Go ahead and like this video and comment as well and subscribe again. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in and see you next week.